Art with Greg. Yes, it's time for Art with Greg. Art with Greg. Yes, it's time for Art with Greg. Hey everybody, it's time for another episode of Art with Greg. Today, I want to show you how to draw, not from life or your imagination, but from an, an image. Someone brought into my studio these excellent pictures of a penguin. They are just fascinating animals. They're aquatic birds. If you don't know what aquatic is, get yourself a dictionary and you can look it up. It has to do with water, I'll give you that much. So here's what we do. We look at the picture carefully for a moment or two. Get it inside your head. Start, in this case, with an oval. One of our favorite starting shapes. We're going to put a small, stout triangle on the top. More of a rhomboid, if you ask me. And then a circle. Now, you're probably starting to figure out what's going on here. We have the penguin's long body, its short neck, and its round head. Now, penguin like to eat fish. You can eat fish without a mouth, and so the penguin has a mouth. It being a bird, its mouth is more of a bill. Perfect. An eye, so the penguin can see. Now you might say to yourself, that could be a duck. It could be any number of birds. That's where the art comes in. First, penguins don't have wings. They have small, fin-like flippers on their sides. Now it looks almost like a bird. And underwater, a penguin really is like a bird. They also got little webbed feet to help them swim. Well, this one we're going to put a little detail. This is, this is where detail and art really start to come into play. This is not something that if you're kind of new or if you're a little unsure of yourself you want to get involved with. But I bet a lot of you are really at the point where you can start adding some wonderful detail all on your own. There you have it. A penguin. Drawn from a photograph I found in a magazine. Check your magazines at home and see if you find anything you'd like to draw. Now you can try it at home.